Well, uh, it was just uh, yesterday that we honored a remarkable woman with Christelle Bell coming mm -hmm. on the set here, and International uh, Women's Day was was that yesterday, yesterday as well. Yeah, yeah the well, official start was on March eighth, but the whole month we're going to go International we'll Women's Month, and you're here to help us uh, honor women uh, every week, right? Yeah, once a week. Well, specific women who have made an impact in the film industry. Okay, I, I have to stay in my lane. <laughs> <laughs> stay in your lane, Sean. I, I, have to, I have to stay in my lane. So no, no. Each each week this month, in recognition of International Women's Month, I'm going to feature a prominent and groundbreaking woman who has made an impact in the film industry. This week, director, writer, Jane Campion. Now, Jane Campion is one of the most influential directors, man or woman, working today. Uh, the Wellington, New Zealand native is perhaps best known for directing the 1993 period drama, The Piano, oh, starring yeah. Holly Hunter, who won Best Actress for the role, and Anna Paquin, who also won an Oscar for her role. She was 11 years old. Wow. That's the second youngest person to ever win an acting Oscar. Who's now, the youngest? I believe it's Jodie Foster. Okay. But uh, somebody out there watching, uh, you know, just Google that. I'm not. I'm not a human. I am the, the machine. But I believe, was, I, believe was, I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. I believe it's Jodie Foster. Okay. Now, Jane Campion was nominated for Best Director for the film, and won for Best Screenplay for The Piano. Now, check this out. There have only been seven women nominated for Best Director in the entire history of the Academy seven? Awards. Just seven. And just recently, Campion became the first woman to be nominated twice for Best Director for her Netflix film, Power of the Dog. Now, the film is gorgeously photographed. It's a drama set in the 1920s Montana. It's also nominated for 12 Oscars this year, more than any other film. The movie showcases Champion's signature style, all while being an acting clinic. Now, the, direct, the decorated filmmaker has carved a pathway for many other women directors to follow she has also found decades-long success in a male-dominated field. Jane Campion, director, writer, and industry barrier breaker. And yes, she's the front-runner to win Best Director at this year's Academy Awards on March 27th. Yeah, I was going to say, Jeez. only seven women only to, seven have been nominated. to have been nominated. But there probably aren't very many female directors. That's if it's not true. Not true. There are a ton of incredible female directors really? out there. Yes. Yes, tons and tons of women are out there just directing incredible movies, feature films, shorts, documentaries. That's the travesty in it all. And there yeah. always have been. Now, we need more, and they're not often given the same opportunity as men, mm -hmm. but there are quite a few women out there behind the camera doing their thing. Okay. But well, Jane Campion's one of the best, and she's the one that a lot of, a lot of women look up to. Well, let's sing the praises of Jane a little bit more here. You you touched on her signature style. Can you give us some insight about what her style is all about and yeah, what, what she, really tipped you off about no, her? It's, it's, it's the way she captures and brings her subject matter to life. I mean, her, her stories, are they, they dig deep. And she's an actor's director, which is why so many like mm -hmm. actors who have been in her movies have won Academy Awards, because she, she understands the nuance of acting. She's a brilliant storyteller. And every single one of her films are always gorgeously photographed. I mean, the cinematography is incredible. And that, that starts with the vision of the director. She's just a really nuanced, gifted like, like filmmaker. But most of all, she's a brilliant storyteller. Yeah. And that's what you want in a great director. Well, and, and perhaps a great the, storyteller. if the Academy votes her to have an Oscar, maybe that will lift up more women uh, to become more we directors hope so, in Hollywood. Because you know? only two women have ever won for best directing. Just two, man, including one last year. So it'll be back to back if she wins. Right. Yeah, it's so that'd be incredible because women are out here doing it behind yeah. the camera. Trust me on that one. Oh, like gosh. when I come back, I'll give you the I'll give you the long okay. list of all the incredible women directors from back in the day, and the even longer list of women directing currently. Today. There's a lot out there. So all you young ladies out there watching, you can do it as well. Perfect. Always learn something from our segments with Sean thank Edwards. Well, Sean, thank you so, thank you so much. much. I appreciate really you guys. Appreciate